Hello everyone. So I've got a new opening for you today. And it's for this here, Marvel's Secret Invasion. Um, yeah, let's get into it and why I'm doing this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a different opening sort of thing for, like I said, Marvel Secret Invasion, the complete mini-series. Um, now yes, this is a bootleg and I know that will cause a lot of controversy. Um, never did I think that I would ever be buying bootlegs again, not until the onset of Disney Plus and the reluctance of Disney to release physical copies of their Marvel TV shows. Considering it's part of a bigger universe, same with Star Wars, um, I feel that I'm being sold certain chapters of something and not others. As a completist, I like to have all of those chapters, good or bad. I have all of the Marvel stuff, but Disney are saying to me, well, you can have these chapters, genuinely, but you can't have these. So I was forced down the rabbit hole of obtaining bootlegs for that content. I do have Disney Plus. I do watch this stuff as it airs on Disney Plus. I then acquire a bootleg copy of it. Now, the reason for this video is because I have a lot of people asking me, about the menu screens, etc., etc., the picture quality, stuff like that. So I thought I'd do this video here to take a look at the entire package of this here one, Secret Invasion, which I have just obtained. Um, it would have come earlier, but my post has been awful. Um, it should have come last Friday, actually. But there we go. <sighs> it's raw mail for you. So anyway. Um, like I said, I don't, I, it's the lesser of two evils. I'm not happy that I have to bootleg these. I'm even less happy that I can't get a hold of them. So I'm forced down this way. And now with Disney pulling out of some marketplaces with physical media, Australia, and inevitably some others to follow, over time, um, people will be seeing less and less of this stuff and thusly more people will turn to the bootleg. Until such time they get fed up of the bootleg, inevitably I will, and stop with them. That's the point where everything has to be bootlegged. That's the point where I'll say I don't want a collection that is being made up primarily of bootlegs because it does annoy me. Now if Disney done a turnaround and they did start to re-release this stuff or release this stuff, on physical media, genuinely, then I would go out and get them. And I know what you're saying. Um, there's a still book of WandaVision coming. Are you going to get that? No, I'm not. There's no discs within it. It's literally just the packaging. Why would I buy that? So that I can put my bootleg into it. I'll stick with the Amory. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so let me just the camera so we can have a look at the, the the packaging and that sort of thing then i will put it onto the tv where we can have a look at the menu screens and the image quality as best you can through the phone okay then so here we have it marvel studio secret invasion the complete mini series now i know this is a very low rated series on um, rotten tomatoes or whatever it may be um, but there we go. I have read the comic books upon which this is based. I was reading the Avengers at the time when the first Secret Invasion came out. When it turned out that Spider Woman was a scroll, etc., etc. Um, and yes, this would have made a great Avengers movie. But lo and behold, it was given to us in a TV series form, nothing like the comics. Um, you're setting yourself up for failure if you thought it was going to be like the comics. It wasn't. 
we knew that, or I knew that from the get-go anyway, um, is Secret Invasion in name and loosely based on the concept. But anyway, so let's take this out of the little bag that came in. Okay, so there we have the cover art, nice black and white with the green on the Secret Invasion. And the key players on the uh, on the poster. Who do you trust? Sam Jackson, Ben Mendelssohn, Kobe Smulders, Olivia Coleman, and Amelia Clark. There. So the spine is like that. And on the back, who do you trust? Complete mini series. Like so. so, nicely done. Open it up. Yes, it is on one disc, and I know some people produce them over two, but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day because uh, you know the copy that you get is yeah, it's fun. It's no issue with it whatsoever. So there's that. So let's go and have a look at it on the TV, shall we, and see what it comes up like, what the menu screen's like, etc. Players open, let's get the disc in to the player, like so, and shut it up, let's see what, now it is daylight out there, so that might interfere with a bit of the TV, sorry, I've got to sit back a bit, because it is, that is a 75 inch, there's reflection, okay, so where are we? Okay, so, there we go, Secret Invasion. So you have each episode there. All six of them. A little bit of an overview on each one. Press play. Bear in mind there is close to daylight, you can still see a lot of reflection. Um, let's go to a lighter scene. Imagine. I want to find some daylight, it's blooming dark. Fury's building up the most complex aerospace defense system in the history of mankind. Can't just leave. No, I agree. And unfortunately, we also intercepted an encrypted message from Agent Hill to Agent Fury. We haven't been able to decode it yet, but we know they're old friends. Okay, so there you go. There was a quick look at the the image and that sort of a thing. Um, unfortunately, the earlier scenes being um, daytime. Um, you do get that reflection on the screen, um, but that's why I went to a, day, a scene that was brightly lit so you could see it better. Now, obviously, there's no subtitles on this version or anything of that, that ilk, but um, I believe that you can get versions with the subtitles included, if required, that sort of a thing. Um, but yeah, so there you go, just a quick look at Secret Invasion on bootleg. Disney, give me the real thing, and I'll get that instead.